Hi my peeps, what's up Wagwan? Welcome back to your girl T09 the house. Yes, yes guys and I have one whole chicken and I'm gonna do a big whole chicken for you. Really juicy and nice. Good for the festive season. Easy to cook, quicker than turkey. I cut up some um, green onion, thyme, and two like onions, the white one and the um, purple one, and and I have some garlic. I'm gonna mix all the dry ingredients in a bowl, and then I'm gonna rub it up inside and outside of the chicken. Jamaican allspice. I'm gonna put like half teaspoon. I'm gonna put like a teaspoon of garlic. I'm gonna put some black pepper put it to your choice you can put a teaspoon I'm gonna put about quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper not much because it's strong we're gonna put a teaspoon teaspoon of onion powder this is my garlic pepper and herbs all spice I'm gonna put another Two teaspoons if you can come out. Two teaspoon paprika. Two tablespoon all purpose seasoning. I have my garlic paste or my minced garlic. I'll leave a link for this one. I'm gonna put like a tablespoon. And this is my blended seasoning. I'm gonna put a tablespoon as well. I will leave a link, something like that. A little bit more for the road. Tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. This is gonna help keep the moisture in the chicken. And I'm gonna just mix this together. I put a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go in with about uh, a tablespoon of soya sauce. You're gonna rub it up all over so and you don't have to use all of the seasoning right guys and you want to make sure you put some down in the in there guys put some down in it all right I'm just gonna grab my vegetable my onions and I'm gonna do a little stuffing Oops. I'm gonna stuff it down there You can stuff it with whatever you want, but I find when you stuff it with fresh um, seasoning like herbs, onion and garlic, it gives a good taste. If you can get under the skin, it's good. What's wrong with my thyme? Can't leave out the thyme guys. I'm gonna stuff it with some thyme as well. All right, and we're gonna just leave this to marinate in the fridge. This is about two days now, and go back into the night. This chicken been soaking. All right, guys. So ah, I can't tell you so this it's soaked to the bone. So let's bake up this bad boy. We're gonna bake this whole chicken now. So over here, I have my turkey pan or my bake pan I'm gonna add a little bit of oil just to grease the bottom not much I oil and water mix up you know guys so, anyhow basically just put a little oil there and we're gonna take up this bad boy oh my goodness look at that guys Ooh, if we can't hold it I'm gonna set it over here Remember to tuck the wings under, else the tip part or the end part gonna burn, okay? So over here, I'm gonna put like a tablespoon of oil. You can melt some butter and you can use it. And what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna brush it with the oil. My oven is preheating at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And what you wanna do, guys, you wanna let it catch some color and then I'm gonna cover it. So I'm gonna pop this in for about 25 minutes to half an hour without the lid. If you want, you can put some carrots and some potatoes around it 
but we know you know none of that today guys we're gonna move on to the next step and we're gonna make some potato salad yeah yeah let's make the potato salad i have some water here and you're gonna add some salt you add salt to your liking all right guys you can add half teaspoon or a teaspoon and i'm gonna put like a tablespoon of canola oil here i have some potato cut up and all of that a whole heap of potato guys take your time and we're gonna pour that in oh yeah you need some mixed vegetable all right and i'm gonna put about a cup I mean, I measure guys you know it already I have my eggs I wash them first and then I'm gonna put four eggs in there some people boil the eggs separately but guys six or one half does not the other so we're gonna wash them so we're gonna let this cook down for about 15 to 20 minutes so guys the potato is cooked we're gonna turn the stove off drain it off and I'm just gonna transfer it to the bowl oh yeah baby a little bit of butter not too much like two teaspoon not much something like that two tablespoon of um, mayonnaise and this one is the avocado I don't want much in it guys but you can put more or less that's good I'm gonna sprinkle some parsley flakes so when you mix it up guys you're gonna have that in it basically you just wanna stir this together and the butter gonna melt you know me a left hand guys so you have to see with me oh look at the butter over here guys Woo. And this potato salad guys you want to taste a little bit of the potato in it you don't want to mash them out and now guys at this point you can taste it if you want some salt yes or not all right so we're gonna cut the eggs I cut them up somewhat and we're just gonna put that in I'm just gonna put a little bit of black pepper on top of my eggs not too much about half teaspoon optional you don't have to put that one more mix and then we're done that's potato salad guys this is how it's looking all the aisle come around it guys so basically every 15 minutes or so you just want to base it all right so in a dry out and remember i cover it all right When you cover it, it cooks soft and tender, guys. All right, so I'm gonna cover it again. While the chicken is in the oven, we're gonna make some sauce for it. Try it out and tell me what you think. This is my new way, my new style. And guys, when the chicken come out, it's gonna be so juicy, soft, tender, and nice, okay? So here I have my sweet Thai. This is a spicy one, chili. And I'm gonna put like a, a tablespoon or two and I'm gonna put about a quarter cup of this rib and then um, Diana sauce and then I'm gonna mix it up together all right so about a tablespoon and we're gonna go in with about a quarter cup all right, that's good just give this a little mix some hot sauce on it if you want it to be spicy guys look how the chicken soft oh yes so basically it's been in there for roughly almost two hours now so look at that goodness guys oh yes you can leave it like this guys you can don't get me wrong you can just serve it up like this just put it back in the oven take the cover off and let it catch some color and you're good to go but look at it guys look what i'm gonna do you're gonna add this on it look at that color Ooh, look at that goodness guys try it guys tell me how it tastes after you're gonna thank me after mm. it looks juicy eh? all right 
my son said it looks juicy guys he's gonna sure to help me eat it though <laughs> ah. all right guys so that's it now i'm not gonna cover it again right because i want it to get some color so i'm just gonna pop it in the oven for about another 15 to 20 minutes so can you see that goodness guys you see the color on this bad boy so two hours two hours and 15 minutes your chicken should be done look at that guys so i have some olive oil and we're gonna do some jamaican fried plantain this is a whole cookout today guys whole cookout <laughs> ow ow the aisle burned me <laughs> And I cut my plant in two ways. My husband said he likes it this way, but I like it this way. So, <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter, guys. You cut it however you want it. You can get it round too. All right, so we're gonna let these golden brown about two minutes on each side and they should be good. We're gonna turn over this bad boy. You wanna fry them on medium. You want to take them out and I have my wire rack here you can use some paper towel take them out before they burn up guys oh you don't want them burn up yes at all So what I did after the two hour and two hour and 15 minutes chicken ready I turn the stove off and I leave it in there stove off just let it take time you know soak and everything guys look it's still a bubble my son and my husband then yeah yeah pull pot guys if you see the eye over my food if you see the eye over my food you know guys you laugh you can go ahead and make some gravy all right I have some leftovers gravy from my jerk chicken and the potato salad is here I'm just gonna spoon some here just to show this is what I come up with and my gravy my jerk chicken gravy I have some bun we don't eat much bun so a little bit will do you know you have to tip it on in our gravy and bite the chicken same time <laughs> my potato salad over here I just sprinkle some parsley on top I have my fried plantain I have some cucumber I have some avocado and I have some lemon with my chicken here and I have some tomatoes there Woo. all right guys so this is a good meal for Thanksgiving for Christmas for any get-together I don't drink um, much alcohol I just taste it but here I have some non-alcoholic beverage um, some wine and I have my wine glasses there so yeah me and my husband gonna dive in guys let me tell you a secret him said me up deprive him of the food because he's ready to eat long time and you know what guys he no stop take picture he no stop take picture guys i can't wait to pop it out mm. bye guys my daughter is here how you think sonny i like it i think it looks good what do you say my husband excellent <laughs> he said it's excellent <laughs> all right guys you have a good day we're gonna dive in it mm.